Okay. <laughs> I've been so obsessed about this thing. <laughs> about this property thing. Uh, I hope this is not one of those obsessions I get into. Um, I'm still like, I think what I should do before I think about buying <laughs> the property is to actually rent it out. And before I even rent it out, I should actually visit some of these places. Um, so I went to the New South Wales, uh, visit NewSouthWales.com and they've got like a, 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 like destinations you can visit, like, uh, you know, the snow, snowy mountains, blue mountains. And what I'm going to do, what I'm thinking about doing is because I have the NDIS, right? I can actually hire someone to come with me to visit these places. So, for instance, uh, I might want to go to Katoomba. Katoomba is like in the Blue Mountains area. And so I might hire someone to come with me and we can go by train or they might even have a car. So, and it's like a one and a half hour drive or two hour drive. Uh, so I can visit these places. I'm actually thinking maybe I could even like uh, contact the real estate agent and, and, and arrange an inspection. So like, uh, you know, let's say arrange an inspection for 12 o'clock or something and then I can hire someone to, you know, we can go by a train or something like 10 or 9 o'clock and then we can I can do the inspection and we walk around. This will allow me to just get out of the house and, you know, and, you know the NDIS is there to help me uh, do things like that. And, you know, I can go to different places on the north coast, south coast and all these things. <laughs> I don't even know, like, I haven't really explored either, even New South Wales. Like, I'm thinking I'm going to Western Australia and the Outback and I'm thinking, and like, I've never even explored New South Wales. So, um... And some places like Illawarra or something, um, I checked the rent, and the rents are reasonable. So, and it looks like, like a fantastic place. You know, it's like some of these places are so wonderful, like near the beach, and it's fantastic, like beaches and stuff. And those ones are a bit expensive to rent, but I think I, I checked Illawarra, and you know, for me, it's like less than 250 is something I can manage. So, yeah, like, instead of jumping right into the organic farm <laughs> and the rural property with acreage and uh, all living in the outback of in Western Australia, uh, I might just start off by actually go checking, you know, going to places, visiting places in New South Wales. Like, I can even visit something like a, an outback town. Um, Although that that might be difficult because uh, transport's like thirteen hour by train. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll just put for away for now. But these other places close to the shore, you know, I might be able to visit them. And then yes, I do want to move out by you know by May June next year because that's when the the current lease I'm on. Uh, it expires. I think the lease goes up to July. So if, if I can move on like June or May. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking that I might go to first some of these places in New South Wales, like maybe Illawarra or, or maybe Katoomba, <laughs> the Blue Mountains or somewhere, because they look, they look like very nice places. Um, and then just maybe uh, rent for six months uh, and then maybe extend that or maybe go to another place, you know, just, just, just just explore things instead of like jumping right into buying a property because I, I don't know if I really even like living there so and also maybe consider like can I like what sort of job I want to do and you know it, because uh, like the NTI is like I can get like group therapy and just sort of not uh, instead of just rushing into it like I gotta do this right now 
Uh, let me just go slowly and do it like in stages, like first visit places to, to figure out how they're like. Uh, and then maybe start renting like for s s like six months. Uh, you know, I think six months is good. Maybe if, if I go for three months, that might be too short. And one year it feels like it's too long. So maybe six month leases and um, I go to different places. And maybe I might even like go to Western Australia for six months and, <laughs> you know, just just you know, save up money, and, um, you know, the only thing with, like, moving is, like, you get, have to, like, moving costs, like, you know, that that's the thing, consideration, uh, I can save up money from now until, like, I have to first do the, my teeth thing, and I'm almost, almost, the, like, I, I think I saved $900, like, that's, the, that's what I should have saved up till now, and so I might be able to save up the money for the tooth because I think I want to get it in January of this year. I mean next year I might get, get the tooth because that's like fourteen hundred. And then after that I can start saving for. I want to get actually a bed, a, a new bed and a fridge, and I calculated the money and it's like. For because I. Uh, I. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't get a bed, maybe I should just take this bed and just, uh, you know, because then I, and, and spend the money on the moving, you know, because moving, like, uh, it might cost, like, a few thousand, <laughs> uh, so maybe I'll, yeah, I'll ask, because it's, the bed I was going to get was, like, like, a bed base and a mattress and everything was, like, 2,500, um, maybe I'll, I'll get a fridge like a thousand dollars or a fridge and then maybe you spend the, the other stuff on the moving so you know this way like I can sort of uh, you know uh, just stay for six months and stay, just figure out all these just just move around and travel you know maybe this is a time for me to just travel and and live on my own and f figure out how that feels like and because I have the NDIS I'm not gonna I don't have to be alone so I can always visit my house and I can go to do different things so that's a very good benefit so I don't have to be alone and I have like a if I have a support corner or a psychosocial recovery coach I can talk to them about it and I might be even able to see my psychologist because I can see her by Skype um, you know so so that's what I'll do. Instead of jumping straight into the organic farm, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just uh, use this opportunity to travel. First to New South Wales and then maybe go to Western Australia or add, uh, South Australia or Tasmania. You know, so many places like, so many places to see and, you know, maybe I'll, I'll make videos about it <laughs> when I go and I don't know. Just take this time to travel and live on my own and then figure things out, you know? I think I'm in a good place to do that because I don't have any obligations like work or something. So I don't know if you know me. I don't have any family. I don't have kids. You know, so this is a good opportunity for me to travel and, and just just live on my own and just do that kind of thing. I haven't done that. Like you know, usually like people when they leave the, like they go, when after university or before university, they, people like to travel. And I guess this is an opportunity for me to do that. So, yeah.